Okay, we are going to do uh, backcourt exchange, which if our players don't like the drill of 15 as much as they don't like that drill of 15, they love doing this. We're just going to do a few variations of what we do with backcourt exchange. So let's start with just three in the backcourt, no setters in. So this is generic drill. Players play, they come onto a different position each time. Uh, they stay until the rally's over. So... Stay into the rallies over. You can rotate players every ball if you've got a lot of players. But okay, just catch that. Catch that. We'll do that. Okay, so that's one variation. We've all done that at practice. Now we're going to do exactly the same drill. You can rotate actually now so we get some new players on. You're only allowed two contacts. So this is a, a good drill for hitters getting their feet to the ball because now they're not going to have a set in the middle there. So they're going to have to dig the ball to somebody, communicate with that person. That person's going to have to get their feet to the ball and hit the ball. So two contacts. It's backcourt exchange. You've got to hit from behind the three-metre line. Come on, come on. All right, watch that shit. So that's a good drill for controlling the, the ball on your dig. And number two, the hitter having to get their feet to the ball. So two contacts. Now let's put a setter in each side. So now I'll add this in, which is just... And we could do this drill much the same as a normal backcourt exchange. But now we have a setter in, so we would hope the quality of set is better. Well... So that's with the setter in, and the, then we do one more addition. Let's put a middle front player in both sides. Now, it's still backcourt exchange. However, the setter can set the middle front player or any of the backcourt players. Let's go. There, so another one in. I'll put another one in this soon. And so this is, we use this a lot at the beginning of practice, a, a great drill for one, setting the middles more, because once your middles get better, the one thing we don't do, and a lot of teams don't do, is set their middles enough. So this is a good drill. Sometimes we'll make the drill, the first ball must go to the middle, and then you can set anyone else. First ball must go to the middle hitter. Now, if the rally was to continue, let's say it continues here, ball's in, you can set anyone you want. Rally continues. Rally's over. Okay, we'll put one more in. First ball must go to the middle. So we'll play that to really increase the number of balls that we set to the middle. And we want the setter to set the middle when she's not in a perfect position. We want the setter to set the middle when she is off here. Now use the middle more often because that's when blockers think the middle's not going to get set, so let's set the middle then. And then one scoring variation that we do use with this game is, uh, let's say we'll, we'll leave the setup as is. The score is 12-12, we start with. If you get an untouched kill on the floor, that's three points for your team. If you make a hitting error, that's minus one. If it's a regular kill, that's one point. That's the only three scores you can have. The first team to 25, or the first team to zero, they lose. So we'll play the game like this. So the score is 12-12, ball's in. You can set anyone you want. So that's out. So now the score would be 12-11. Ball will come in. I'll get Michael to put one in so we'll alternate sides. That's an error, so now the score's 11 all. 11 11. Just let it hit the floor. Come on, kill. Uh, that would be, well. Oh, that, we don't have a point. That's, that's bonehead communication error. You could give them a point or you could take one off them. So let's give them a point. So it'd be back to 12, 11. Somebody just let the ball hit the floor. Here, so just kill it onto the floor. And they're on. Oh, he didn't let it. Anyhow, if the ball's on the floor untouched. So meaning, just let this ball be untouched. I know it's hard. One, two. 
That's, that's untouched. No one touches it. That's three points to this team. The score would be, what, 15-11 or something like that. Keep going to 25, or the other team gets to zero. It's a great game for get after the ball. Do not let the ball touch the floor without you at least getting a fingertip on it. If you get a fingertip on it, they just get one point for the kill, not three. So it encourages that kind of desperation. So that's a, you know, a myriad of things you can do with backcourt exchange. And for whatever reason it is, players love this drill, so they're going to buy into it straight away.